Hey guys, Smitty here! And finally, the time has come. Global launch of the best mobile game ever is already known. You guessed it. Black Desert Mobile, about which I will talk in this video and meet it with the project itself. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And before we start, I would like to remind you that for more detailed information and communication with us, you can go to our knowledge base and join our social networks and Discord. The game is developed by Pearl Abyss from South Korea. Established in 2010, the company is focused on only one game, Black Desert Online, that is published on PC, consoles and mobiles. So we sure have a serious project that does the best and everything for just one single game. That's a big deal to keep in mind. Mobile version of the game is an amazing port from PC that took all the best from it and made it way easier in terms of content understanding and less painful in terms of time consuming. This is so much better, at least for me, as I wasn't able to play PC version due to its complexity. In this mobile game you will find astonishing graphics with 60fps, almost perfect combat system, nearly open world, a lot of content and great automation system that will help you take the most of the game with least time consumed. One of the most popular questions when you look for a decent MMORPG is does it have open world? Well, I can definitely say yes, with intercuts between maps. Still, it has everything that open world can offer. Real-time PvE farming spots, free PvP on maps, NPCs, gathering, fishing and etc. The territories are quite big, so you will definitely need a horse to explore the world. Also, you can free teleport to any town and some territories using a portal. In this big world, there are a lot of stuff you can do, like fishing, catching horses, gathering, exploring hidden knowledges, make friends with NPCs, and of course, selfies! Also, in Black Desert, every account has its family name, and every char you create shares many things with others. In this case, a private zone. This is your personal territory or a personal farm that you will visit every day. Workers, horses, craft and work buildings and many other interesting stuff that are yet to be discovered by you. PvE in this game is consisted mostly of farming mobs, farming bosses, farming dungeons and all of this is automated. So you can rest from the game while your char is farming. But if you like to farm manually, you can always do it, no problem. World bosses and some event dungeons are better done manually for better results and rewards. Also, some territories in later patches will have nightmare mode with harder mobs, better rewards and all the way free PvP. There aren't yet any party or guild hard raids, but hopefully we'll get some in the future. And the last category of this video will be about PvP. Remember, I was talking about almost perfect combat system. Well, in PvP is where it shines the most. Arena matches in real time against real people are very interesting and challenging, without any limits and restriction. So if you like PvP, you can just duel all day long. In mass PvP enters Guild Wars, PvP against two guilds that declared war, and Node Wars, mass PvP between two or more guilds for a territory with cannons, elephants, walls, towers and castles. Also, in later patches there will be a 3 vs 3 arena which is more about strategy rather than PvP mashing. And that was it for this video guys, hope now you know a little more about what to expect from this amazing game. Stay tuned for more guides and news. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That was Smitty and I'm out.